Cobb Court and Scombs Quartet has four different data sets that have really, really identical, similar dis uh, basic descriptive statistics. But when you actually look at them, they are very different. Look at the image here to get an example. You can see all four data sets have very, very different distributions when we craft them. But when we do actually put them together, they have uh, basically identical stats. You, you can see here they have the same mean, they have the same variance in X, they have almost the same mean of Y, variance of Y is very similar, the correlation, the linear regression line, the coefficient is, is all for R squared are all very, very similar in each of these four samples. And if you were a novice data scientist, you might just say, oh, I'm just going to look at these numbers. I'm going to take this data set. I'm going to compare these values here. And we're going to compare these values here. And if they're the same, then I'll say they're the same data set. But here, when you graph them, you can see that these are clearly not. And this is really why visualization itself is, can be so important because simple statistics can uh, sometimes fool you. And here's like a point I really want you to remember why speci especially for machine learning people, this point idea is very important. Most of machine learning works by taking a data sets and trying to build distributions out of it. If you know your statistics, you'll know a normal distribution is created by sampling a mean and a variance. So here you can see that these very clearly different distributions will ha all have the same mean variance in our data sample. So that might create problems for us. Now, obviously this problem uh, diminishes when you have higher dimensionalities and more samples but here you get the basic idea how just uh, running blindly into doing statistical analysis without first doing an EDA without doing an exploration of your domain graphing your data etc can be foolish if you really want to play around with these data samples which I highly recommend for you to get a better feel of these distributions you can use these data points below shout out to Wikipedia for their awesome article on this and as I mentioned earlier if you're a novice data scientist, you're probably somebody who will try to say, oh, what is the mean of my column? What is the variance of my column, etc., etc." which is not bad. It's not your fault because you haven't been taught about this, but you're going to keep doing this and you'll probably never think of graphing it, especially if you have high dimensional data where it's impossible to graph directly. So you might end up uh, completely missing the nuance in the bigger picture of data uh, statistics. And that's why ideas like TSNE and high dimensional visualization at themselves can be very important and are tools that you should definitely have in your tool belt. If you don't know about TSNE, then make sure you watch my video on that. And other than that, thank you for watching. If you're interested in stuff like AI machine learning and deep learning, please hit the like button so this reaches more people and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have other content like a newsletter, which has helped a lot of people get internships in top tier places as you can see in this review and other writing all links will be in the description below you can use those to reach out to me and if you are looking to learn about any new concepts don't hesitate to hit me up with either my social media links or through the comment section thank you for watching have a good one peace